Yeah, you go through a pretty small amount. So you're, you're flowing a pretty small amount. Uh, between 2 and 20 SCCM of argon to, 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 to get to the pressures that we need to go to. Uh, we used to use the smaller bottles all the time. Each uh -huh. system had a smaller bottle. And it would take quite some time to get through those, but we're not really doing a lot of you know, constant depositions either. So I would say a, a tall bottle would probably be appropriate. Okay. And then there's your reactive there. Um, <coughs> Then we have uh, the compressed air coming in here. Also mm -hmm. very important for driving all the pneumatics on here. This is the pneumatic manifold. So you pressed air. The shutters for the guns are here, connected. You know, gun one, two, and three. Their their shutters uh, use these channels. Mm -hmm. And then these are the gas isolation valves here. Process gas into the chamber, and all of these are just spare channels. So if you add things to the system, you later, can... yeah. We just see the the connection for the compressed air. Okay, I think it's the one that I have. Yeah. Okay. And then we got our water. So there's uh, water coming in on this side, water coming out here. On the output side, there's a series of flow switches. Uh, so when the water goes into the system, it gets distributed through three loops. It's like we have a, a gun cooling loop, uh, cooling loop for the heater and for the turbos. Uh, 